this is Kazakh Eliyahu and we are giving you an update on our visit to South Africa right underneath a big and beautiful willow tree. Alright, so was it yesterday? Shamwa yeah. called me. <laughs> No, before that, on Shabbat morning, I had a dream. And after Shabbat, I had told, I had told Amikai that I wanted to speak with him about a dream. So when everyone left after Shabbat teaching, Amikai was there along with Sister Marlenia. And she didn't know that we were there to speak about the dream. So she started speaking, and while she was speaking, the things that she was speaking related to the dream. So I said, um, well, might as well I tell you the dream because um, it seems, sounds familiar to the things that you are saying. But fast forward, I'm going to get back to the dream, but fast forward now to yesterday. Shamwal came to me, called me, and said, he's going to cut to the chase. Yahuwah said, we must all gather in South Africa. And, of course, I put up the resistance. I said, but that's not what I'm getting. That's not what I'm getting. And so we had a talk, and he said, all right, um, he has delivered it, so examine it. And I said, okay, fair enough, that makes sense. You can just examine it and see um, what it is. But... By the time I hung up, it was not long afterwards, the dream hit me. And I'm going to tell you the dream. I'm going to illustrate the dream and show you what the dream is actually saying. And it is more than confirmation. Shamuel says he's sure. <laughs> I'm more, I am more than sure from this dream. So let me go and illustrate the dream. Right, so I dreamt that I was leaving from a gated community. And I used to live in a gated community. So I was leaving from a gated community and I had all my bags packed. And they were piled up outside the gate. And the gate, they had a crossbar that you know use when the car passes. They lift it up and put it down. I don't know what they call it. And it was a yellow one. And I know yellow stands for trials, right? Eh? So out at the gate, someone was leaving from out of the community and he stopped and gave me a lift. Now it was a bluish green car. The, the, the car varied from blue to green. At times, it looked green at times, blue. So he gave me a ride and I packed in everything in there. But then, little after I started driving, I stopped it and came out. And when I came out, I was left with only one small bag. And... When I came out, I was looking a ride again, but I was going to a place. I was on this road called um, Old Hope Road. And the significance of this hope, we're going to see later on, the significance of this hope. So I was on Old Hope Road, and I wanted to go to a place called Halfway Tree. So this is Old Hope Road up here. And it goes towards a place called Crossroads. Now the names of the places are very important. Alright? So this is um this is wrong though. This is half a tree. Let me see. Half a tree, them, them, bam. Emancipation part. No, this is wrong. Half a tree is more like up here. Half a tree is like up here. So half a tree would be like up here. So this is where I would be going. Alright? So I came out of the vehicle once and then the same person gave me a ride again in the same vehicle and he told me that he recognized me by something that I can't remember. So we came and we drove off again and I stopped, stopped him again and came out the vehicle. Now when I came out the vehicle I was walking 
and I was walking on Old Hope Road, and I reached right here, Stanton Terrace, all right? Because I used to live in Kingston for, for years, so I know the place. So I stopped at Stanton Terrace, and before we went further, I looked at the meaning of Stanton. Because in these things, whenever you get clues, you have to dig up the clues. So I looked at the meaning of Stanton, and this is the meaning of Stanton. Stanton, as a boy's name, is of Old English origin, and the meaning of Stanton is stone settlement. Stone settlement. So I'm going to let Shamuel tell you something about stone settlement. Just tell them about the stone settlement, um, Shamuel. All right. So when Brother Kazak called me the second time around, I think after an hour, <laughs> he mentioned Stanton and he says he meant what? Old stone? Stone settlement. St stone settlement. Now, immediately he said that Ephraim walked towards me, you know, <laughs> and he said, he said to Naomi, can you write this down, please? This stone settlement so i'm thinking in my head okay what is he talking about whilst i was still talking to brother kazak, kazak on the phone and he was still telling me the dream then it dawned on me to say actually wait the location where the land is where the settlement is where this wilderness place is that yahuwah directed me to go and to secure that land, that place is called, which means stone settlement. <laughs> now, what, what are the chances? What are the chances? I am in a different city, a different province. And where the Mosai told me four or three years ago to go secure is actually a place he says, this is a landmark where I will gather everyone. And please don't think that I'm saying this because I want to make someone feel good here. Nope. It's too costly for me to come and be pretending here. Now, when the Mosai said to me to go there to get that land, there were witnesses to this. And the first witness being my wife. And then there, were another, there was another pastor who was also there, curious about why I'm securing this land. And it was actually a Christian pastor that took me all the way through the town, went to the first land, the second land, it didn't work out until we scrambled and last minute in the evening was when we heard to come and see another man in the morning before this land sufficed. So that area is called, which means stone settlement. So when Brother Kazak told me, when he was saying that, I'm like, nah. Nah, it gets interesting. It gets more interesting from here. More interesting and more confirmations. Okay, brother, you can continue. Yeah, so when I was at Stanton Terrace now, then I decided to turn back and get a bus to my destination, Halfway Tree. Now, the names are important. We have Crossroads. And we know Crossroads is a place of decision. We have halfway tree. That is a tree halfway. That means it's not complete. And that was where I was headed. Because we're going to see the name of a tree that is actually equated to the name Hope. And that is the full tree, as we're going to see. Anyway. What I did, I turned back here, Stanton Terrace, and I started walking up backwards from where I was coming from. And I decided that I was going to take a bus. Now, in my mind at the time, the buses were yellow. <laughs> and we know yellow again, child. So the buses, I was going to look a yellow bus to go to my destination. But while going to the bus, I saw a bus stop very significant a bus stop 
And I was thinking of just walking on the road, and while the, the buses were passing, I would stop them anywhere. But then I saw this bus stop. And in the bus stop, there was just one single solitary sign. And that sign, that single solitary sign, had this name on it. it was pointed to the right, and it had the name Willow Dean on it. Now I couldn't get the exact color, but the exact color was a brownish, a more reddish brown than this one. And a, it was a combination of different shades of brown. And um, it said Willow Dean. Now I know that there is a, was a Willow Dean in St. Catherine. And that threw me off. So here it is now, the map. Stanton Terrace, right to Willowdean. Willowdean is in St. Catherine in Spanish town. So, you know, I now dug up the meaning of Willow when it comes to Willowdean. And um, I came up with um, the meaning of Willow, Willow, let me get it. All right? So the, 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 the general meaning, several people will tell you that. The willow tree gives us hope. That's the basic thing. All right? And remember, I was on what? Old Hope Road. So the willow tree gives us hope. A sense of belonging and safety. So I was pointed to the place of hope, the place of belonging, the place where I belong, and a place of safety. The safety there refers to the, the, um, the shelter from the wrath that is to come. A place of belonging means that's where I belong. And it says, furthermore, the ability to let go of the pain and suffering to grow new, strong, and bold. So it points to a new beginning where we will be strengthened, okay, and bold and emboldened. And it is our path to stability, hope, and healing. So everything about the willow is good. So I was on old Hope Road pointed to the hope, to the willow. So... I also looked on the meaning of Dean, and the meaning of Dean is a valley, um, especially one that is narrow and wooded. So we know that it says, narrow is the way that leads to life, right? And also in Isaiah 40 verse 4, it says, every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain. Referring to the time to come when the Most High does his thing and the valley, those um, Yasharal, small Yasharal that is the least among all will be exalted and the mountains, the other exalted nations and countries will be brought low. Alright? So, when Shamuel um, spoke with me, I never got this understanding that I was getting now, that I'm going to show you now. Because I was thinking that this Willow Dean had something to do with Jamaica. But then I was speaking with El Pedro after. And while speaking with El Pedro, I just said to myself, let me do a search. And I did a search. Let me get to the search. And I did a search for cities named Willow Dean. And as you see here, there is Willow Dean in St. Catherine. And Willie Dean here again in St. Catherine. But when you go further down, you see Willow Dean in South Africa. <laughs> Willow Dean in South Africa. When you check Google, city's name Willow Dean. And if you go to GeoTarget, this is one of the places that tell you the cities in the world. They don't know about the Willow Dean in Jamaica. So guess what they tell you? They tell you that there is 
one place in the world named Willowdean. One place in the world. Are we seeing it? Yeah. One place in the world named Willowdean, and that is in South Africa. And when I looked at where it is located in South Africa, we see Willowdean is in Gauteng. Now, Shamuel, um, could you tell us something about Gauteng? So, Gauteng is the city of is the city of gold. All right, it's a city of gold, and um, it is pretty much. Let me put it the capital of of South Africa because Pretoria, which is the main capital, is within Gauteng. So, it is a business district. And it was a land where I'm sure we all fall ahead of John G. Lake. There's a story about a man of G.O.D. John G. Lake during the pandemic of cholera was doing, was performing miracles and all this stuff there. But um, Houghton is a land of gold, right? And we all know the color of gold as well, which represents, as Brother Kazak says, trials. Now, there's been several prophecies concerning Houghton, which has to do with the fact that it has been sold to these Kabbalist people. Because there's something very key about this place that for a long time and for many years, I've been wondering what about this place, but I just couldn't put my finger on it until I heard many of the prophecies which says that the Most High is gathering all of his own to this place as a holding place for this exodus. Until now. So Houghton and this Willow Dean place is just like 25 minutes from me, from where I currently am. It's like 25 minutes from me. So when Brother Kazakh <laughs> asked me, I, I, I was wondering, what about Willow Dean? Does he want to talk about this? I didn't know it had anything to do with this word and this prophecy. But only now do we realize that this is a place and where I'm actually based, I'm right next to the airport in the sense that it's almost like Yahoo has placed me as a gatekeeper here, as a doorkeeper. Holding this airport or this portal open for all of his own to walk through before it shuts. And this is what all of this is headed towards. Because as I'm speaking to you, where I live, my lease here has expired. But for some reason, it's going month to month and my landlord hasn't said anything. And that's how I know that definitely it's, uh, it's, it's Yahuwah that has kept us here to hold the gates wide. So that everyone can pretty much, those that want to get in, can get in before it shuts. And hence, we're speaking about that window. So, yeah, so this is what has to do with Gauteng, the city, the main city here in Johannesburg with a sub, a suburb called Willowdin, which is within Gauteng here together with Pretoria, which is officially the capital city. But Gauteng literally is a place of mine and it's a place of gold. Shalom. Wow. And so I had to call back Shamuel because like right away the most I brought up the dream and it just hit me that this is actually confirmation. Solid, solid confirmation. Because when I get back to the dream, I lived in a gated community. And when I left the gated community, I had a whole house full of um, furniture. All right? But then... I moved and I lived by my mother. So I, I had a business place. So I stored the furniture in the business place. And then I decided to close down the business and focus on the word full time. And when I closed down the business, there was nowhere to put the furniture. So I had to give them away. So I ended up with minimal values, owning minimal values. And that kind of brought me back to the first drive that ride that I took and then I was left with a small bag. And then 
the second journey was we went to with some brothers to set up um a camp yes and then that didn't work out and that would be the second jump off right mm -hmm. Because that didn't work out. And that is why we are here with this group. If that had worked out, as Shamwal said, we wouldn't be here right now. So that didn't work out. And so now the third time, it is pointing me towards Willow Dean. All right? And as we said, officially, there's only one Willow Dean in the world. The one in um, St. Catherine is just a, a little housing scheme, I think. So there's only one city in the, in the world called Willardeen. So that must be the city to which the Most High is pointing us. Kazak Aliyahu here in South Africa and I'm giving you an update on Willardeen, on the prophecy, on the instructions and the dream that the Most High gave us about South Africa and right here I am just about five minutes from where I'm staying and if you can see in the background willows all over and guess what if we look at the meaning of the word of the suffix Dean in Willow Dean guess what it means it has to do with valley and look at this valley road what a coincidence yeah valley road this is the dean in the willow dean okay and willow trees all over there we go oh <laughs> yeah man there we go willows all over and if you look here willows Willows all the way down and they are those tall ones in the middle they are different species of willows what a coincidence people this cannot be a coincidence this is the manifestation of the dream this is where the most high is telling us to go and some people might say hey he's telling you but guess what he's telling us because we have been doing a whole series on fleeing out of the midst of Babylon one thing that we were not yet cognizant of here are the willows 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 all the way down on both sides one thing we were not cognizant of was where to flee and now he's showing us where to flee he's not only showing me he's showing all those people who have asked me where do we flee to where do we flee so we have been the ones who have been pushing, fleeing out of Babylon. So he is showing us where to flee. This is Valley Road. Valley Road in the midst of a host of willows. This is the fulfillment of the dream, people. This is the fulfillment of the dream. Valley, Willow Dean. Look at this, right in the same area another species of willow behind there you can see the weeping willows in the background nothing but willow look at that nothing but willow on this valley road look at that people Yahuwah is great willow